A Dallas real estate broker has been charged with blockbusting in southwest Oak Cliff for allegedly encouraging residents to sell because minorities were moving in. The charge was filed with the Dallas City Fair Housing Division by a woman living in the Carter High School area who says she received a telephone call from the firm encouraging her to sell because blacks were moving into the neighborhood. We have an area of town that's uh, moderately integrated. It's about 12% uh, 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 black in that area, and there's lots of uh, real estate activity, uh, both legitimate and some very unethical and at times illegal activity. And we've run across, uh, uh, looks like a classic case of blockbusting in the area. What action is your department taking? Well, we've just about finished up our investigation of the matter, and so now we're going to attempt uh, uh, some very strict uh, conciliatory terms to try and dispose of this matter and to make sure it doesn't happen again. Rencher says if the company accepts the conciliation proposal by the city, it will be placed on two years probation, barred from soliciting for listings, and required to make monthly reports on its selling practices. If the proposal is rejected, he says the company will be taken to court. A far more common practice, according to Rencher, than blockbusting is racial steering, a subtle way of guiding blacks and other minorities into certain areas and whites out of that area to manipulate the market on a racial basis. Dallas Fair Housing officials say plans are to hire an independent company to conduct surveys in neighborhoods like this one to determine how residents came to settle here, in particular to determine if certain groups are being steered into areas like this for the purpose of segregation. Iola Johnson, Channel 8 News.